Hello everyone, I'm Ed Green and I'm here this week with a very brief tip of the week. In Android 13 betas 1 and 2, if you install an app from outside a Play Store, it's unable very easily to take advantage of being an accessibility service. So for instance, if you download commentary from GitHub and install it and try and turn it on, it'll tell you that that setting is restricted. This doesn't apply to apps downloaded from stores such as FDroid, and on the Play Store, uh, accessibility service apps really do have to be all about accessibility now. Google's clamped down quite hard on that. But it does, as I say, apply to apps downloaded just off the web as an APK, for instance. So I'm going to show you this behavior, and I'm going to show you uh, how you can work around it and enable uh, an app such as Commentary to function as an accessibility service service. A uh, health warning, obviously this is a beta software I'm going to show you, so it may be that this functionality will either change or even be restricted altogether, let's hope not, uh, but could, could potentially happen I suppose in the full rollout of Android 13, but for those of you interested, uh, this is how you do it. I'm using a Pixel 5, obviously it has to be a Fisher-Price or one of the limited number of other manufacturer phones that we've covered on the email list and Telegram before, uh, which supports running Android. Uh, beta software. So I'm in my accessibility settings now and first of all I'm going to show you what happens if you try and turn in my case commentary Gshuo on as an accessibility service. Gshuo plus off. D settings. Restricted setting out of list. So I double tapped it. You heard it say restricted setting. Let's explore. For your security this setting is currently unavailable. Learn more button. That learn more button is very unhelpful. What it will do is take you to a generic help page where you then go and search for a topic. So it doesn't take you to anything specific at all in terms of help. Okay, button. Accessibility. Visual plus off and list. So what do we go and do about this then? We need to go into um, the app info and sort it out from there. So I'm going to uh, double tap my home button. Home button. I'm going to swipe up to Bring up my apps list. App suggestions. Wheelerspoon. Gshuo Plus. Now Gshuo Plus is uh, what commentary is called in my apps list. So I'm going to double tap and hold it. Shortcuts. App info out of grid. App info is what I want. Pixel launcher. App info. Navigate up button. More options button. And in the top right hand corner is a more options button uh, where it normally is. If you've got some vision, that's the button with the three dots. It doesn't say more options. That's just what TalkBack calls it. So I'm going to double tap on more options. Pop up window. Allow restricted settings and list. And we want allow restricted settings. Touch the fingerprint sensor. Verify that it's you. Tap the cancel authentication button out of list. That's quite sensible. It wants me to authenticate the device because accessibility services have all sorts of uh, permissions. As you know, they can monitor pretty much everything that happens to a much greater degree than most other apps. So it's a sensible thing if they're restricting the setting that we need uh, to authenticate ourselves. Authenticated. Restricted settings allowed for Gshuo Plus. App info. App info. So there we go. I'm going to check that that's worked. I'll hit the home button. And home button. Up. Pixel on. Settings has one notification. I have settings on my home screen. Settings. Accessibility. Display. Interaction. Audio. That's what we want. Accessibility. Navigate up. Button. Out. Downloaded apps. Heading. And Gshuo Plus. Off. So let's see if we have any more joy turning Gshuo on now then. Gshuo Plus. Navigate up. Button. Out of list. Use Gshuo Plus. Off. Switch. And list. Ah, we seem to have got a little bit further, don't we? Off. Settings. Allow Gshuo Plus to have full control of your device out of list. So I just double tapped the uh, button which said off and that's toggled it. So I'm now going to allow it. Full control is appropriate for apps that help you with accessibility needs, but not for most apps. View and control screen. It can read all content on the screen and display content over other apps. View and perform actions. It can track your interactions with an app or a hardware sensor and interact with apps on your behalf. Allow button. I'm going to double tap the allow button. I'm going to turn talk back off so you can tell I am actually using commentary. Talk back off. New notification from Android system tells volume key. Check permission status. Oh, commentary is very quiet. Let's turn that up. Convert swiping gestures. Read usage hints. Read usage hints. 
Next, let's decide whether you wish to receive usage hints from the screen reader. Usage hints are short messages spoken on any element. These messages can help you to operate a green usage hints. So you can tell that that is commentary now running. Uh, so that's it, folks. That's how you do it. It's it's relatively simple, but I thought worth showing. And as I say, we'll just have to keep an eye on how that functionality develops during uh, the Android 13 beta cycle and beyond. <laughs>